Hi, this is Amy, and today we're going to look at how to use Hangouts Meet to do video conferencing. So probably the best way to schedule a Hangouts Meet is just to do it straight through Calendar. Uh, there are some also some other URLs that you might want to know about to use this. One of those is meet.google.com. You can start a meeting right from here if you don't use Google Calendar or you want to do it on the fly. Or you can join a meeting with a meeting code right here if someone else has given you a meeting code. Uh, and also, this is integrated with Google Hangouts. I assume this is probably going to be going away at some point, but it's still here for right now. So here you can do a video call and you can also make a phone call through your computer right here. So we're going to look at the most common way that at least we use video meetings, though, and that is scheduling them through a calendar event. So I'm going to start scheduling my meeting by just clicking my calendar on the day I want the meeting one time. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into more options and we're going to set up our full meeting from here. So we're going to call this video meeting so that nobody's confused about where they have to go. And we're going to put in a time. Uh, under conferencing, we're going to add a Hangouts Meet to the event. We're going to add our guest right over here, the people we want to attend the event, and, and they will reply and let us know whether they can make it or not. And right here in Manage Details, we're already going to see all of the event details. So let's go ahead and close this and then look at how we would join it a couple of different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and save the event. So let's pretend that now it's time to actually join our video meeting. If we want to join via computer, all we have to do is just click on the event and just go ahead and click Join Hangouts Meet. So that would be one way that we could join it. So I'm going to go ahead and join that way now, and then we're also going to look at how to join by phone. All right, as we get our Meet screen to load here, we see just a few options. This is Turn Off the Microphone. This is Turn Off the Camera. And then right up here, we have our hot dogs, more options, and we can go into settings right here and we can look at which microphone we're using, which headset we're going to use, and you can test your sound right here too. Uh, you want to see when you talk that your microphone is working and this, this movement right here will show you that. Um, and this, if you click test, it will play an audible sound so that you can make sure your speakers are working before you join the call. Now, if I want to join with the headset that I have on, I'm all ready to go. I can just click join meeting. However, if I'm going to join via phone, this is how I want to do that. I'm going to turn off my computer microphone and I'm going to go back and check out the meeting details for join by phone. So this is my join by phone information and I'm just going to use my cell phone to call into the meeting and I'll show you what happens. So I'm going to dial the number on the screen. It's just going to be a random number and as I dial I'll put it on speaker so you can hear. Welcome to Hangouts Meet. Enter the meeting pin followed by the pound key. All right, so I'm going to enter my pin. And the pound sign. You have joined the call, but you are the only one here. All right, so now we're in the call and we're actually here twice. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the meeting. We'll go ahead and join the meeting over here now. You do want your microphone muted on the computer. You can't have both microphones on because then you'll create that awful endless loop of sound. Now, if you want your viewers to see you and they're not seeing you or they say, oh, I see you up there, but you're really tiny. What you're going to have them do is click on your video feed and that will make your video the big picture and just leave your your phone sitting over there like this. Otherwise, when you talk, it's going to automatically switch back to your phone and it will be back to this black screen that you saw initially. So they're going to want to click your picture. You don't really have to worry about that too much. People will figure that out. It's pretty intuitive. Now, if you want to do a chat during a Hangouts Meet, then this is where that chat happens. This is handy for example, if um, you're going to send somebody a URL and they're, they're over there trying to type it in or whatever, we can just paste it right over here and hit the little airplane and then they'll, they'll have that message or that text, whatever it is they need right on their screen and they can click it from there, uh, copy and paste it or whatever they want to do. So I want to show you another like common sort of thing that people do during meets that kind of distresses everybody. 
So when you go to present now and you want to show your screen to another person, you can choose your entire screen or a window. Either way, if I do it like this, I'm gonna have a problem. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a window and I'm gonna choose the window I'm in right now. This is the most common thing that people do in a meet that kind of stresses everybody out. When I go to share, what you're gonna see is this effect we call Alice in Wonderland. So the Alice in Wonderland effect is gonna show a picture of a picture inside a picture. It's kind of like a mirror looking at another mirror. And until you click off of that and click onto another page, that's what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. So I wanna show you how to avoid that because no matter how fast you are, your viewers are gonna see that for a minute if you screen share like I just did. So I'm going to go back to my meeting and I'm going to go to the you are presenting and I'm going to stop presenting now and I'll show you what is the right way to screen share. So this is the right way to screen share. I have two windows open here and in this window I have open what I want to share. This is the window that my meeting is happening in. So I have a separate window. If you only have one window, you can always take a tab out of your browser and just drag it out and create another window. So that's what you wanna do first before you screen share. All right, now we're ready to share our screen. And so I'm gonna go to present now again and I'm still gonna choose a window. I really don't want everybody having to look at the background of my computer and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do a window, it's the cleanest way, gives them the best view. And now I'm gonna choose the window that I am not seeing myself in. That's the trick to this. The, the other window is the one that I want. So I'm gonna click share now, and then you'll see in my video meeting, you're gonna now see my secondary window, which in your case, you can see both of them. But if you were my far end viewer, you would only now be seeing this one window. Well, Meet is pretty simple. Um, there aren't many other options that you can even look at here on the screen, um, but I'll make sure that you see all of them. So here are a few more options down here in the bottom right. Um, in this inside this video meeting thing, you'll see your dial-in information if you need to give that to someone on the fly. You can copy that right there and you can send it via email or via chat or if you text through your computer, you can do that. You can add someone by phone right here. So if you open this up, you'll be able to call your, your other person into the Meet by adding their phone number and the Meet will call them. Now, coming soon, I have read and seen is going to be uh, the ability to record these, which is really great. So right now we have to use an extra software to record or else set these up through YouTube Live. Well, I hope that helps and you have learned something new about a video meeting, including how to call in on the phone if that's how you want to join your audio. And um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.